uh, zucchini on the plant here. We're going to, there we go, rip that baby right off. Look at the size of that one. There's our first one. Gonna have that one for dinner tonight. Yeah. Here's a zucchini we gotta pick here. It's underneath the other one. Oh my god. I think they're both gonna break off. We're attempting to pick the zucchini on the bottom without taking the one on top, so let's see what happens. Oh, I could maybe get her. Just a big twist. There we go. She's off. Look at the size of that one. And the other one's still attached, so we're good to go. Smoke. Come take it because it's too heavy for me. And there's another one down here. The wife's going to grab it and see if we can get a picture of that one. Oh, that's just a little smaller. That's not a bad one, though. So we got two. There's Mr. Rupert. Here's two of our first zucchinis. And I hope to get more. Oh, the basil's doing lovely. You got basil all over growing here, peppers. Speaking of peppers, let's look at these peppers. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five good sized bananas. Maybe we'll pick them, maybe we won't. Pick four. Decent sized banana peppers off the one uh, one plant, two plants, I guess. I got more peppers growing in another area. We're going to put these in the fridge for a day, and then we're going to stuff them. We'll show you how we stuff them with, uh, like, a mushroom and cheese sauce with onions and garlic. It's really, 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 really good. But for today's cook, after all the work on the pool and the garden work and whatnot, on the big green egg, I'm going to be cooking a nice meatloaf wrapped in bacon. And it, it, uh, it's good meatloaf. It's just going to taste better because of the hardwood. The hardwood of the coals gives you a little uh, little flavoring in the meat. It's just awesome. We grabbed the stuffed peppers out of the oven here, and I got them on my plate. And I almost dropped them and caught them. I caught them just in the nick of time. So it doesn't look that pretty, but let me tell you something. They are going to be delicious because all the spices that are in here. And we got to mix with some other stuff that came out of the garden here. Some tomatoes and some cucumbers and whatnot. So it's going to be a great meal. We're going to get into it now. Why wouldn't I? Meatloaf 3.0. And the big green egg. We put a meatloaf together. Well, the wife put it together using her famous recipe. We might talk about it. Standard hamburger, onions, ketchup, honey, bacon, peppers, breadcrumbs, egg. All mixed together in a bowl of loveliness smeared with a little honey on top and off she goes hopefully I get a picture of it when she's done in my stomach the meatloaf on the grill with baked potato and they're done those potatoes are done that's what she looks like she's uh that's grease from the bacon. You can obviously tell that, but uh, this is one of the vineyard's meatloafs, and uh, the wife might share the recipe. It's nothing really special, but it is special because it tastes so damn good. And, and when you do it on the grill, it absorbs some of the the hardwood from the grill of the hardwood fire, and she gives it a little smoky flavor. And man, oh man, oh man! Put on a few pieces of Chevetta's chicken. We had some guests coming over today, so we're gonna we're gonna cook up uh, a few pieces of chevettes. So we got a few pieces of chevettes on, and we'll uh, be swimming. We're hitting a high of 80, 88 or something today, I guess. So yeah, I have a couple beers and some chicken around 6 o'clock. <laughs> 